Hello, namaste, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make SPI index indices plot in Excel. So I'm going to be showing you how to plot these kinds of SPI plots using Excel. Uh, because a lot of you have asked me about how to do so because they find a lot of you apparently find this quite beautiful. So first of all, I'm very thankful for all of you for liking this plot that I have prepared. And now let's move straight into how to make this. Now, before we make this plot, we need some data, right? So, uh, these are the years and these are the SPI values. Uh, these are the monthly SPI values. So apparently you see uh, oh, How do we start on the heavy? This is my station. So I'll just name it Select all of this control shift down and it gets selected and go to insert. insert recommended charts and you will have to go for if you if this doesn't come or if this doesn't pop up then just go for columns and clustered columns uh, in the section of clustered columns not stack. you'll see something like this initially you'll get something like that right uh, let's just move to the top control v now i'll have to change this into something like do it initially you'll have to change the color Double clicking on these lines, uh, just go to you'll be seeing here invert if negative option. Just click there and it'll come something like this. Then go to color and click on the blue. Then another option will be unlocked here. Just go and put some red over there. Then that's done, right? It's looking good. Now I have just <coughs> moved this. Uh, where is it? Sorry. I want to move this label down, so I'll just go for labels here and uh, label position low. Right? Good. Looking good. Now I'll need to keep some um, access titles. So access titles and okay. For this I'll be putting in SPI what I have used in my previous video SPI value not just now i this looks a little clustered up but it's, look, it's looking fine though right so, but if you want to do go to I'll select this label portion and labels and specify interval unit and i keep your 60 um i have selected an interval of five years and since uh, these are all monthly SPI values I simply do if you want to keep um, three years interval then just go for 12 times three So 
x there will be a three month gap sorry three years gap but i need a five years gap so i just i'll go for alignment and i want to arrange this in a vertical Rotate all text to 170 degrees. Now for the grid lines, just select this chart. Go to add chart element. Where is it? Sorry. Go to add chart element. Go for grid lines. And uh, major vertical grids. And initially it will be something like this. How to fix this. The way to fix this is just uh, go to labels go to label option here yeah. and specify sorry not labels go for tick marks an interval with between marks in place of one just keep the same number as you have kept down here in the labels portion so now i usually prefer to keep this mm, uh, initially this looks okay but if you want to paste it in word document like in pattern like this uh, arranged in three by three column size it'll be a good size to visualize i prefer you keep the size of this chart to format my preferable size is sorry oops see where did it go sorry for a slit Size of my chart is preferably mm, 2.4. Now, this might look a little awkward. Mm, just don't lock aspect ratio. Just if your your lock aspect ratio is thick. But I just want to shift this a little bit. The chart occupies most of the portion and not these empty spaces. And just click this and go a little bit here, a little bit down there, a little bit up, move this a little up, move this a little up, move this a little down. And this is looking quite good, right? Now, if I pasted this word document in a landscape mode format, uh, it should fit three in a row, three in column format. Control V. Yes. Sorry, why is it looking a little small? Huh. What's the size of this? Oh, 2.2 and 3.4. Sorry, sorry, guys. Let me just correct. I can fit three of these control so that is it guys hope you found this useful and if there are any other videos you would like me to make mention those down in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.